Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be trying to replicate a scene from nature. Now we were down in the South Island um, on the weekend and there is some absolutely stunning, 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 stunning visuals down there. And OMG, I was just so captured by the colours, by the intensities and the contrasts. And um, wow. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. Wow, 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 wow. Now, one of the things that I observed, one of the colour combinations I observed, was <clears throat> a very brown, rocky river. So the rocks... Well, right up like it was a very much of a valley um, scenario. They were very, very grey brown actually. Um, and then running through it was this turquoise, like really turquoise blue river. And it was, it was so pretty. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm pouring. And to try and achieve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three, three pours. There's going to be two brownie, blacky ones on the sides, and then another, just Pretty much just turquoise and white through the center. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. paint and power. Um, bum, ba -doo, bum, boom, bum. So, 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 I have got some burnt sienna. And some Parisian blue. And some ye yellow ochre. And then more burnt sienna. And more Parisian blue. And just because I can, if it's got rid of its lumps overnight. Sometimes, guys, if your paint has lumps in it when you mix it, just leave it to stand overnight. And it's like the, the extra moisture from the water and medium, whether you're using Floetrol or whatever. Um... Does its, does its best and sink, sinks into those lumps and um, then you're good to go. Uh, And some more burnt sienna. Oh, everywhere I've decided what this has got to look like at the end. Destroy and uncreate all that. <laughs> I 
because a lot of you know that when I try and do something from an expectation or a projection, it just doesn't work. And I'm not sure whether that's something you yourself have noticed. When you're painting or when you're doing anything artistic, try and expect it to look something like it doesn't do it so I think my paint's a bit thick what do you reckon <laughs> okay so my turquoise I've actually mixed with some iridescent medium because that's going to be nice and sparkly um, so I'm going to put some of that in there then I'm going to just put from up high some more Prozian blue because it'll tie them all together And then we're going to get some white. I need to mix some more white. Right, and now I'm going to tilt it. Tilty, 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 tilt. Tilt that way, just enough. And then All right, how are we going? Before I go any further, I'm just going to smear some of this brown around on the edges just to make sure it goes everywhere. And for those of you wondering why I put the peg pins in the bottom of the canvas, that is just to keep the canvas up off the ground so that I can do exactly what I'm doing now and just spin it around and have no concerns about it dragging itself through the mud <laughs> literally because this paint looks like mud and I'm just gonna get this corner blued up and this one blued up and now we're going to tilt that way now one of the cool things about this is that although I had an idea about what I wanted it to kind of look like. Unless you watch this video and see me talking about what I wanted it to look like, it doesn't have to look like anything like it. I'm just gonna get this, make sure all the bits get covered before I start tilting back. Just 
And my question to you is, if you didn't know what it was supposed to look like, would it look like what I told you it would look like? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. There's a truck in my driveway. How's it getting any better than that? All right, so how's it looking from up there? <laughs> from up there, it does look like a river. <laughs> That's cool. Sometimes you're just a little bit too close to the action. So let's get these large clumps of paint off my hands. And then... I'm going to torch it, but first of all, there's a big lump in there. Now, if you've got lumps in your paint, please don't go in with your fingers. <laughs> go in with something a little bit finer, like little push pins. Ugh. Crikey. The cool thing is, this is in the rocks. So any dried, clumpy bits <laughs> will just look more like rocks. How does it get any better than that? Now I must say this burnt sienna is a lot uh, browner than the brown of the rocks um, down between Queenstown and Clyde. Um, where's my torch? I'm going for the big one on this one guys. Fire! You've got a big torch like this, you don't need to get anywhere near. Especially when it does weird things like that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do some of you know this sound is get a straw out there's some patches that are really quite funky and swooly and, and there's other patches that aren't so I'm just going to make 
make it a little bit more rubbery. All right. Now, Okay. I'm just going to let that run a little bit now that I've blown it and see if it will organicize itself a little bit more. Definitely different. Just checking my edges. Now, this one may or may not survive. <laughs> um, oh, I just had a really cool idea. Um... I need to wash my hands though. Anybody know what this is? <gasps> Kitchen towel! Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a swipe. Now, um, the thing is, I've got no silicone in here. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Can you tell I didn't like it? So... I've got paint all over my hands, so I've now got paint all over my thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Fold it diagonally so that I can go diagonally. And I'm just going to drop that down into the water. And swipe out. That way. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second piece out the other way. Ooh, maybe I won't. That looks quite cool like that, actually. Hmm. Should I leave it like that? It looks like a waterfall, actually.
does. It looks like a waterfall. <laughs> um, the only thing is, there's nowhere that that paint, that river actually comes from. And I'm a bit of an OCD about things like that. I'm going to lose that paint that way. Okay. So. What I'm going to do. Is instead of. No, I am going to do that second swipe. Changed me mind. Or am I? Oh, now I'm... Will I ruin it? Okay, so why do you use slightly damp kitchen towel? Well, that is so that doesn't absorb all the paint into the kitchen towel. I'm really liking this. I haven't done a swipe for ages. They don't tend to work for me. I really like this. That's really cool. <laughs> Doesn't end up anything like the river that I saw down in Southland though. <laughs> this is cool. Alright, let's see what spraying at the silicon did. I know you can still hear the gun, but it's pouring off to the side, burning down the curtains. <laughs> no, I'll leave it at that. I like that. I really like that. That is cool. Weird, but cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to bring it up to you, actually. Look at this. Look at those beautiful smear marks. Very small amount of silicon. But that was from spraying it. Cause it's, in, um, it's a very fine particles that come out when you spray. Excuse me. But I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's weird. It's different. But I like it. So there you go. Let's leave this to dry. And I will be back in your time. Three, two, one. 
Yahoo! Oh goodness, I do like this colour. Um, wow. Uh, it's it's intense but dark and um, it looks like a waterfall but yeah, it looks like a stream running through something. Yeah, it's... Ah, I love it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And then turn it on an angle and that copper just glows look at that <laughs> how's it getting any better than that guys i do like it i do like it a lot um so it totally doesn't look like the picture i took down in south the south island but hey it's super cool i really like it and i yeah how's it getting any better than this what else can i create how much more fun can i have and how much fun can you have choosing for you creating for you and playing what if even doing the dishes was fun i dare you add fun to everything you do choose joy and if you aren't choosing that don't watch my channel it'll only annoy you <laughs> How's it getting any better? All right, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Um, and yeah, come play with us. Join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And um, if this painting or any of my paintings really ring your bell and you'd love to own them, let me know. I would be totally happy to ship anywhere in the world. And uh, been doing some investigations into shipping methods and I think I can get it cheaper than I've been able to do it so far. So touch base with me, tell, you, tell me where you are, which painting you love and I'll get you a price. Okay guys, I adore you, have fun, bye bye.